importing text. If we have an existing text file, uh, we can import that directly into a text editor. So uh, we can only take two types of files, an ASCII file, which is a TXT file, or a real text format, which is an RTF file. Uh, a TXT file is generated in what's called Notepad. Every computer has this. Come on. And we go to Accessories, and we go to Notepad. And it's just plain typing. There's no bolding, there's no paragraphs, there's no underlying, there's nothing. And so it's kind of boring on that end. So I, I might have a Word document. In this case, I have a Word document, but it's not a real text format. Uh, a real text format, the job of a real text format is to keep the formatting, but be into a neutral platform. Uh, it's not a Word document. So what we want to do in Word is go up here, we want to go to Save As. And we'll come in here and save as other formats. And then we'll save it and come down here. And I'm going to change the format to an RTF, rich text format. And so here I go. I got the uh, my course descriptions. Boom. And I saved it to an RTF. All right. So this is what it looks like. It's got some bolding in it. And it's got some paragraphs. Uh, etc. Alright, now we close that. Now in AutoCAD what I want to do is I want to start a new a new text. So I come over here I create my paragraph and now I'm going to come over here under my tools I'm going to hit the down arrow I'm going to say import text and then I navigate out to where I have that particular text so in this case, it's on my external hard drive, and I'm going to go out to uh, navigate to where I, that thing's hiding at. You wouldn't have to follow this along. Um, I got to change this. Say real tight, real, and there it is. And there's my file. I say open, and boom, just like that, it brings it in. Now, all I got to do is close the text editor, and I took a file that was, say, already typed. It might have had my general notes or my specifications on it, and I come right on in, and I use it, all right? And now it kept the formatting exactly, including even my spacing from page to page, which I might want to tweak in here. Um, but uh, I have all this information here, and uh, so I have all those uh, information at this point brought along with uh, and I don't have to retype so that's a misnomer that we have to retype it in AutoCAD if we have it we need to just bring it in and so it only can come in in two different formats one is an ASCII text which is plain old text or a rich text format which is an RTF and we can always create an RTF format by doing a save as in Word and saving as an RTF format.